Important update regarding being separated for the 24-25 year. Hi everyone, I'm Tina Steele, the FAFSA Guru, and if you like what I have to say, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the link below. You may have recently watched one of my videos regarding all the big changes happening to the 24-25 FAFSA, in which I talked about people who are separated and how they're going to fill out the FAFSA for the 24-25 year. There was a little bit of misinformation going around initially in the financial aid world regarding separation. And I referenced the fact if you were going to be separated, you would need to provide legal proof of that separation in order to fill out the FAFSA without your spouse beginning with the 24-25 year. However, that is not the case because in many states, getting legally separated is expensive and takes a lot of time. So just to clarify that change for the 24-25 FAFSA, if you're separated, you're not going to have to be legally separated to fill out the FAFSA without your spouse's information. The same rules are going to apply that have always applied. As long as you're separated, living in separate households, you can fill out the FAFSA on your own without your spouse's information. This is a really important update I just wanted to make you all aware of. In case you watched a recent webinar I did indicating that you would have to be legally separated in order to fill out the FAFSA without your spouse's information. There are a lot of hands in the pot when it comes to financial aid and once in a great while, some misinformation gets out there. So I wanted to get in here and do this video to make sure you all had the most accurate update. And if I have any parents of high school seniors or rising high school seniors watching this video, be sure to check out my Financial Aid Academy. It's my signature program I run every single year to guide you through the overwhelming financial aid process and help you get the best financial aid offers possible. Enrollment is still open for um, the class of 2024. And I'll be opening enrollment for the class of 2025, where you can save significantly through early bird registration in a few short months. Thanks so much for watching. Uh -huh.